Good morning, guys. Today on Rebels Off Road, we are going to go out to Hollapala. Yep, that's right. We're back down in Florida. Drove the 13 hour drive yesterday um, to arrive down here. And next week, I'm getting married. So, what better way to celebrate to go out to Hollapa and ride with some of my old friends? So, that's what we're doing today. I'm on my way to Eric's house right now. We're going to go meet up with him and get on the road. So, stay tuned. We're going to get right into it. So, came down on a wheelie hard and heard a noise. Check this out. Yeah. Now, you might think it's a broken tie rod, but however, tie rod's fine. It's actually the bolt that went to the tie rod. Um, and this is a grade eight bolt, I believe. Actually, it's a 10.9 grade bolt. It's kind of surprising that this broke. Look at that. Just sheared right in half. Was able to find the pieces though, the little offset things. I kind of knew I should have been bringing an extra um, set of bolts for this. Now I will. All right, so able to limp back to camp. Tie rods just kind of hanging out down there. Eric has left to go get us a bolt or two. <laughs> gonna get some spares now. Hopefully we'll continue riding here in, in a few minutes. So I am just gonna chill with the bike, wait until he gets back with the hardware, and then we'll get it fixed up and we'll be back on the trail. All right, Eric got back and we got the new bolt up in there. It's a metric 8.8, .8, so hopefully it will last. Um, but I, I think it was just a freak accident with that. However, we're gonna take it a little bit easier. Who am I kidding? We're not taking it easy. Let's ride.
still push through it. Someone f***ed it up. Yeah. Found it. <laughs> 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 so normally we hit that hole a little bit uh, more to the left and uh, that hole gets nasty and I hit the spot where it just got that really churned up mud and it really just got bottomless and I had to kind of float across it. This is Florida, this is haul ball for you. Everything changes every couple of weeks so you gotta keep that in mind. Up here. Yeah. We went through there the one time. It was yeah, just really nasty mud. Left. Come get you. Nah, Don't you let that bike go over. <laughs> nah, he's good. He's good. <laughs> Hell yeah. So we're on a part of suburban estates called the uh, mud flats and that is what we call the straightaway. It gets very rutted out, very deep, very muddy sometimes and right now it's pretty, pretty deep, pretty wet. So we're going to go ahead and go down the straightaway and see what type of trouble we can get in.
Alright, so if he does it in two, then we gotta do it in two, so hopefully he doesn't do it in two. <laughs> Watch out for that vine, buddy. Woo! That was close. Hey, pull that vine out, I'll do it in two. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh. Are we stuck? All right, all right, all right, there we go. All right, cannon power, let's go, let's go. We got the Outlander out here doing work. Come on, let's see it, let's see it. Watch out for that vine, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know, buddy. Yeah. That vine really messes you up, though. <laughs> Dang, man. All right. Cut the vine. Let's go. didn't help any. <laughs> I give him 10 to 1 odds making it through here. He's probably going to plow in it hard, throw his ass over the handlebars. Hopefully not break anything. 20 to 1. 20 to 1. 4, you won't matter. Hit him 4. Oh, yeah. Alright. Don't break your snorkels when you go over the front. Oh. Oh, you hit the tree! Hey, it's good that you weren't in four, you would've broke your axle. I don't know, man. Dude, it's ah. <laughs> It just likes you, man. Why'd you be covered in poison ivy on your wedding? <laughs> Let's release her into the wild. <laughs> Used to be a great hole, but apparently when Rubble's off-roading out here hitting it up, all the pussies go around all the holes, so now it's not challenging. Let's see him hit it from the other way. See if he can uh, pop it up. <laughs> There's a dang fish over there out of water after he went through it. Here he comes. <laughs> we watch as the brute force prepares and perhaps she'll fly. I believe I can fly What the hell you say? <laughs> oh. Do you want me to do? 
Alright, alright. Lift, lift. So as you may have guessed, the brute force just had some water on the spark plug, so there was no real damage to it. We were able to dry it off and get it back to the trailer, and Eric got me home in time for my wedding, which was great. So bachelor party went off without a hitch, and we really enjoyed our time out at Suburban Estates as always. We got a bunch more videos coming up, so you want to stay tuned for those. Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.